And let's quickly jump into how we would do that. With all this created, I'm gonna select our object and I'm gonna say bake it. And there are hundreds of modifiers that were baked there. It takes a little while. Remove unused wires and we're in pretty good shape there. Now what I wanna do is I'm gonna just take this box part right here, the cube up here, and I'm just gonna hide that. I'll hide that and I'm gonna select the rest that's in here. Select A. And I'll make sure in kit ops, I need to make sure that auto select is off because if I want to move things later on, it won't work very well. So I keep that off. I keep smart mode off and I'm going to hit remove kit ops props. Then I'm going to convert to mesh so that I can convert any of these that might have modifiers. I'll convert them to mesh. Whoops. I need to actually select one. There we go. Okay. I have, to have something primarily selected. See, that's an orange. And then I say convert to mesh. And then I remove unused wires. You see, I have SW1, cutter 1, 01, clean duplicate materials. And now we have everything is set up. We have just the minimum number of materials that are being used for this. And that's that. And then I just go back in, turn the cube on, hit A, select everything, and then just go under object. And I'm going to say parent. And I'm, I'm going to parent the, all these to this. And once I've done, I need to make sure I say keep transform. So now it's all parented. And now if I really want to get fancy and turn this into a kit ops insert with everything selected i'm gonna say control a and i want to make sure that the scales are set for everything and that way if i have to try to apply a, a decal or something else like that from kit ops onto these it'll always come in at the right scale and that's what that does and with all of them selected i'm going to hit the m button and i'm going to create a new collection i'm going to call this one uh let's call it sci fi wall two and I've created a collection there. And with this setup, what I want to do is I am going to select everything but my sci-fi wall, shift select it, right click and say delete hierarchy. Now all I have is a sci-fi wall to set. Now the next thing I need to do is I need to make sure that to set the origin of my main object, which is this one. Don't forget we parent it. So now when I parent it, when I move it around, everything comes with it. And so I'm gonna go into like a side view here and I am going to select this and under object, under set origin, I will set origin to geometry and then under here instead of median center i'm gonna say bound center that moves it right in the middle of the bounds and then i will say object snap selection to cursor so that moves it right down there and now i can zoom way up and say g z and move this up so that it's right on the floor so now that it's set there the last thing we need to do is say Control a and we say apply all transforms and it puts that there and now we have our insert i just go and say file save as and i'm going to move that insert and i'll call this k wall o2 and the number i'm using the o2 number is the main seed number that i use for the midsection of the sci-fi wall now that's done notice that kit ops has gone automatically into factory mode and all i need to do is select my object make sure it's the main object and of course it's a solid and then i just say save insert and clean duplicate materials also. And then sometimes I'll come up here and I'll also make sure that I purge orphans, the deleted 10 data blocks. You can also do it by clean up purge all. And there were no orphan blocks to clean because we just did it using power save. So now if that's done, let's go ahead and load the render scene. And this can take some time. And now with the render scene loaded, let's do camera to insert. And I'm gonna just go into view and turn camera to view on and i'll rotate this around just a little bit so i want to turn off auto select insert and that's going to help us speed things up quite a bit as you can tell so i'll set this up some something like this and let's go ahead and render the thumbnail make sure we don't save at this point always 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 revert okay and now we're back so that's really it uh, if i file new general don't save let's take that and delete it let's select our floor select our floor Go into kit ops we'll go into sci-fi walls click on here and we'll see here's the one we just created this k wall o2 and we turn off auto scale here and add insert and it's going to come in drop it and now you can see what it looks like now that i've dropped this sci-fi wall insert on the ground with auto select insert turned on what it really means is that whatever i click on whatever object i click on it's going to select the parent of that object and all the other objects together and that's what auto select insert does and when i turn it off i can go in and i can just select individual things right and when i select them i can actually move them if i want remember that when we built this we built this with the hierarchy and there's always a parent object in kit ops so if you turn auto select insert off you can still grab the parent object and move things around 
But with it on, when you click on something else, it may take a really long time, especially if your object, an RK wall O2 object, as you can see, has a ton of objects included. In fact, there are 740 some objects included in just this one insert. So if I'm gonna move this around, I'm gonna either turn this off or even better, I'm gonna remove kit ops from this object. So when I say remove kit ops, it's going to remove kit ops from only the objects it's selected. So I'm going to basically click on this object over here and I'll say select objects. It's going to select everything or I can use the auto select insert button and then I'll say remove kit ops. And now if I click on this, I can move it very easily just as before and I never have to worry about selecting something else. So that's really it. Uh, that shows you how you can use this new sci-fi wall recipe to create literally millions of different variations. Thanks for watching. We'll see you online.